Welcome current viewers to uh, my uh, channel, Nader Bader Gamer. Uh, whether you're new or I if you're, you've been on here for quite a while and uh, if you are subscribed. I am starting another playthrough here. And that is going to be Sonic Frontiers. This is going to be a long one. Probably not as long as Sonic Unleashed the Leash playthrough, which was like 330 videos long. But it's going to be another long one. I am going to go ahead and start the game right here, and I'm going to play on normal. I practiced this game on easy so I could get the bearings of what it's about. I'm going to be playing it on no or normal now to actually have more of a challenge when I'm playing. Let's see. Action style. For people who are not familiar. Okay. The style is recommended for people who are used to playing Sonic games. I, um, in a way, I am used to it, although I am rusty. That's all it is. So I can definitely go with high speed style. And here's the first cutscene to start playing. Enjoy. Dr. Eggman is bestowed upon some kind of um, ancient ruin. Uploading AI program now. <laughs> oh, and he's corrupting the. the Once again, after the gold, but... Yes, it's all coming online. The ancient secrets will be mine. Status report. Answer me! Simulations complete. Executing protective initiative. What? No! No! So that's how we got trapped in there. I, I kind of, I'll see missing the practice, but I kind of wasn't really paying attention when I was like back then. Coming up, Starfall Islands. How exciting! Track the Chaos Emeralds here, right? Let's find out what drew them here. When I practiced this game, I went as far as the last island. I didn't quite finish the, the main story, but I'm still ready to record this regardless. get separated <laughs> so I gotta get the bearings of the game by actually doing this to move use the, the left stick to move around Sonic will walk or run depending on how much of uh, the hours you move pressing R2 will have Sonic boost in the same direction as L okay so if I press R2 and then use the left stick okay well, that's probably how, how that goes Okay, there we go. All right, so like that's it. Um, how to do it? There are those to collect, I suppose. Although I'm not going to be able to collect them all in each uh, of the cyberspace level that I play. I guess I already found the stock.
Nice, I got all of the Tibet stars in the, the uh, tutorial stage. Didn't get the rings and didn't clear with the rank S time, but you know, getting my bearings. A B is not horrible. At least I didn't get the C. I could try again if I want to, but I like, like I said, I just need to get the rust uh, shaken off me. I'm gonna go ahead and just move forward. Okay, this happened a while back, so it ain't really much anymore. And I'm probably not gonna choose to have the birthday settings put on for this game. I don't think it's really, uh, 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 like, required. Beats being called a rodent. Are you saying I can rescue my friends? Find the Chaos Emeralds. Destroy the Titans. Tear down the walls between dimensions. Yeah, okay, sure. How about a little context? Hello? Nothing else. For now. Oh well. Some direction is better than none. And look who it is. Here we'll we find go. out um, who that is later on. <laughs> Use the right stick to rotate the camera. Find the way forward. Press uh, on left on the directional pad to bring up the dust window again. Oh wait, I actually still have the I actually have the birthday settings put on. I wonder if I can turn those off. Adjust various settings for the game. Game. Can I turn off the birthday Sonic settings? I actually don't want them on. But at least I can take a good look at the settings in this game um, to at least know like what what is which. Alright, so I can change these if I want to. I've been just fine with everything being like um, default though. The slot machine, uh, whenever that happens during uh, the playthrough, then I will definitely do every single one of those uh, if it happens. Because it obviously randomly occurs when it gets to nighttime in the islands. Can I please turn off the birthday settings for Sonic? Because I, I, I don't actually want them to be on. Maintain boost during a jump. I'll probably turn that on. Why not? I need to figure out how to turn off the birthday settings for Sonic, but um, I definitely do not remember how.
Okay, so I have a choice to switch between these two, um, depending on how I like the game to look like. Hmm. I'll just keep it the way it is, because I actually uh, don't really know what, what decision to make there. Well, uh, it looks like I can't remember how to turn off those settings. It's been a while since I played this game, so I definitely don't remember on how to turn off the birthday Sonic settings. I really w would wish for them to be off, uh, but they they really aren't really much to me. I would like to just uh, have the main game stuff to just be going right now. Can I really... Is there a way to do actually turn that? <laughs> Excuse me. Go to options to change settings, such as the camera angle and player controls, if you find yourself having motion sickness. Try using a wide camera angle. Turning off blur and rotation and turning on the center cursor. I don't know if I have any of those things. Yeah, I don't remember how to do it. It looks like if you click a down, a down the left stick, you can do the, the um, light speed dash. Activate the switches. There are three ancient switches on the ground. Activating them will earn a reward. And unlock a part of the map. That's going to be very handy during the playthrough. That way I can find my way around the map to get to where I want to go. So it's recommended to complete these uh, mini challenges around each island. It would be tedious, but at least it will make it easier to be able to navigate the, um, throughout the playthrough. Kronos Island obviously is the first uh, island to do in the, the game here. Complete challenges to reveal the map. Completing challenges will reveal the surrounding area on the map. Once revealed, the map will help in locating guardians, portals, and memory tokens. Open the map by pressing the middle button. Like so. So I can be able to get a look around to see uh, what uh, many challenges I can complete to be able to reveal more of the map uh, of the island. Those hearts are going to be useful for something later on, I, I don't really remember. Notifications. A notification may appear when Sonic is near something new. Press the da down directional button. While the notification is displayed, to practice the action in the training simulator, or get a hint about what Sonic is about to encounter, press down on, on the to go to the training simulator now. This actually is going to be useful right now to get my bearings on the game again. Exit the training simulator. The training simulator can be exited by pressing the, the middle button when the middle button is displayed in the lower right corner of the screen. Press square when the tar target's cursor is displayed to perform the homing attack. I guess I'll keep the birthday setting on because I don't remember how to, get, to turn it on. Okay, introduction to combat. Pick up dropped items. When enemies are defeated, they drop various items such as skill pieces and seeds. Gather enough skill pieces and they will turn into skill points, as shown in the lower right corner of the screen. These can then be used to learn new skills to enhance some. I'm just going to try to get my bearings with the controls again since it's been a while. Oh, and when you do the birthday Sonic stuff, it actually reveals presents around the island that you're playing on that will actually reveal the stuff that to do out in the field. When they're off, then that those are just simply uh, just crates to destroy that reveal what's inside them. Oh, 
Um, if I fall to the bottom uh, here, then I have to go through a loading screen um, to wait to get back into the game. So I gotta be very careful for, um, for that. Oh, and these sections are recommended to be taken as they will lead to the getting stuff that is important to, 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 to progress to do the story. Yeah. On this island, I'm going to be trying to rescue a a Amy from the, um, her further predicament, which said that her pink hearts are full. They're also used for uh, learning about uh, the one following. Time to fight some more guardians. So much stuff in this game to do, so I'm gonna be uh, uh, um, playing this for quite a while before I ever get to getting it completed. I messed that up right there. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna be able to get up there now, but that's all right. Kind of trying to get uh, used to the controls again, anyway. On this, as soon as I actually get my uh, muscle memory back, then we're really going to be recording this game as well as I can. As soon as I can figure out how to turn off the birthday Sonic settings, then I will take care of that at that. I've done it once before, I think. I just don't re uh, remember at the top of this time. Introduction to mini bosses. This is the ninja. Use lock on and defeat the guardian. Guardians are very powerful. They are bigger than normal enemies and have special attacks. Study their moves to find an opening. When an enemy is targeted, lock onto them by pressing R. So I gotta wait until it lets its guard down, I, I, I presume, and then do an attack. And then to attack, it attacks and then it lets its guard down, right? Kind of like that. And I can block too, so I gotta be careful about that. I'm kind of new to this combat uh, Sonic thing, so I'm taking a bit of time to learn it, it a little bit here. Got him. Pick up the portal gear. Guardians will drop the portal gear. These gears are very important, so don't forget to pick them up. They're going to be needed in order to open up um, ways to uh, go to other levels and stuff like that.
Might as well take another look around uh, here before I actually can move on. Have a bit of fun as this is open, mostly open world after all. This game will have a successor um, in the future, um, I know that. And that's as far up as I can find. There's going to be a lot of climbing in this game too. I think it's probably time to move forward from here. There isn't really anything of interest for me to be doing here. Introduction to puzzles. Turn the statue to open the gate. The ancient gate seems to be locked. Turn the statue in front of the gate to see. Wow, that's cheap. I actually was able to get up there and hit that without doing it the intended way. What I was supposed to do was take this and then like go straight through that. That that's how to actually get that. I, I actually got this got that cheap way. These hearts are going to come in handy to be able to do the story as well as optional uh, activity. this. As soon as I take care of this, I'm going to stop the video, because I know it's been quite a few minutes uh, on this so far. So that's how to turn the statue. Alright, thank you for watching the first video of the, the part of my Sonic Frontiers um, the playthrough, and I will be recording this game for a while.